It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before your time began. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir i'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to hogwarts so late nor have i of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if i could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We do-
You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Oh. Here it goes. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir? <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. No, we don't. Oh! What a journey! What a journey that was. Goodness. Oh. Where in the world? How far did that porky take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The porky was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that poor key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Goodness me. Mind your step. Oh, I will. Not a problem, don't you worry. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Oof. Okay. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Okay. But sir, Ooh. why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. What? Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Mm. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Well, okay. If you say so. Oh. Excellent. Whoa! Oof, okay. That was a bit rougher than I expected. Your one works improving with every car. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Did I just hit the birds? I didn't ah, mean to hit the birds. Up there. Oh, up this way? Now, it's just ahead. Oh, wow. Wow. Steady 
yourself. Oh, it is windy. Repair. I mean, could have maybe had a couple more repairs thrown in just to just to make it a little more steady, but it's fine. There. Okay. Oh, God, it's windy up here. What is this? Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Mm. Let's have a look around for anything that seems. Out of place. Well, we ourselves are out of place, Professor. Look. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Possibly. What about this? What's this? Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Yeah, so those are like tarot cards. Okay. View. Quite the view. That enchanted crystallized stone again. Mm. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Okay, it's a mirror wall. Is he coming? Oh, there he is. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Okay. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Wh Where are we? I don't believe it. Wow. What? This is this is quite the quite the spot. What's this? Oh. Oh. Oh, I hope whatever's snoring behind that desk doesn't mind me having a look around at things. Um. Hello? Hello? A moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, no way <we're> here. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. Um, <clears throat> precisely. Yeah, what he said. The key. Oh. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. 
I will. Not a problem. After you. Inside the cart, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Is there any kind of seatbelt safety device? Yes, 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 not. Okay. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Okay. Uh oh. You want to take a breath? A what? Oh God. That <sighs> before washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Very suspicious. Here we are. Well, okay. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Please. Vault 12 oh. until today. Another chest. Okay. Thank you for your help. Yes, thank you for your um, your help. Strange little goblin man. Your friend was rather suspicious. What do you suppose we should be looking for? Oh, I'm not sure, sir. I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Yes. Let me think. There must be something here. Well... Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, oh, okay. Perfect. Revelio. Something. 
the Move door. Move a bit closer and try again. Okay, let's just have a little look around here first. There's nothing else of any interest by the looks of it. The door. But the symbol. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Well, okay. Oh. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. Oh, I will. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Well... It looks like it just goes on and on. miles I see something up ahead ah what, what is, is it that glow again but on the floor hmm. are we to the glow it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about are you all right oh yes sir i'm fine you seem to have caused the floor to change it's like that glass. statue what statue i see some sort of statue but only as a reflection in the floor rebellion i presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor mm. it is the reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh, oh okay, well. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. So they have to match, maybe? Okay. Um. Okay. Oh. Um. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah, big, big, big knows what he's doing. I'm here. Good God! What was that? Oh. Professor? Professor Fig? Professor, where are you? Oh. This isn't good. Where oh. am I supposed to go? A little What's happening? Streams of light. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. 
They did. Oh, another one. Oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Mm. Okay. Lumos. Uh. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Mm hmm. Where is the professor? What happened to him? <gasps> there! What's this? Basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Is there a memory in here? There is. Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. What? That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, 
are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. Dear. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have the vault. I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Oh, Professor, please move. Those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Oh. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Yeah, I think so.
Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. Oh. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem Enough. Has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Wow. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Yep. It's kind of serious. Wow. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Okay. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? Yes. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Maybe. Um. I mean, I, I kind of I want to explore, but I also am really looking forward to the classes and learning. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. I, I mean, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, if you feel that that's my house. You belong in Ravenclaw! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Oh, no. Why? The injury's not Enough. that bad. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. Oh. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Our cue to leave, I'm guessing. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Wow. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Oh, okay. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? 
A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Well done. <laughs> now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I'll try. A lot's happened, you know. like everyone's gone. Hmm. Better head to the common room. It was a good night's rest. In my comfortable bed. Wow. Quite the, um, the dormitory. Well. <gasps> a, a ghost. What? So, ah, up this way. Interesting. Wow. Look at this common room. Wow. Why would anyone bother sending secret love letters? Must if you be want to different. Starting off, it's in your face here. I'm uh -huh. not sure this is the right spot. Wow. What an amazing room. So. A Samantha Dale. Hello. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cosy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wyvernwild Potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about Wyvernwild Potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory, it seems to know a lot about practical magic. Well, um Yeah, he is he is quite knowledgeable. He's taught me a lot. I'm Evelyn, by the way. Professor Fig does know a great deal about um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wig and Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. I'm a good study. Um do most students grow their own ingredients? Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. Oh. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. <laughs> yeah, isn't it the Hufflepuffs who normally like plants? An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. Oh. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. Wow. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. <laughs> Very good. Well, it was nice to talk to you, Samantha. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Well, thank you. What a nice girly. Oh, an apple. Mm. Very nice. I sent an anonymous howler to Duncan Hobhouse last year because oh. he kept leaving his dirty clothes all over the dormitory. You should have seen him look on his face. That's one way to deal with a bad roommate, I suppose. What's... Just have to wait for the right moment. Okay, that's... yeah. I need to catch up on my letter writing. Who else have we got here? Oh. Who... Deep breath. Who are you... Amit. Amit Takar. 
Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Yeah. What's out there? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. <laughs> you will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. Good to hear. Um, yeah, the stars are really fascinating, actually. I hope astronomy is on my schedule. It sounds interesting. It does. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. Oh, You will good. be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you! Okay, thank you, um... Amit. What a fantastic room. Beautiful fire. Oh! Is this... Hmm, well... Just have to wait for the right moment. Everett Clopton. One moment. Watch this. What are you doing? That's a... Is that a bomb? Oh, yes. no! Someone threw a dumb bomb. <laughs> Let's oh. get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh, well. What did you hope would happen? Yeah. I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. Um... I am looking forward to my first day. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. Mm. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Yes. Hey there. New Ravenclaw. Yes. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. Oh. You had best not keep her waiting. Okay. What's this? I don't know. Another fantastic room. My goodness. Wow. Can't imagine stuff. What's this? Chest or something? Oh, a house chest? Hmm, I can't do anything with it. I have a sudden urge to spin all the globes, and I don't know why. Anyone else have anything to tell me? No? Well, I'll go and meet the professor then. Hmm. What a fantastic common room. Very impressive. Oh, hello. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I am. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh! Here you are. Book. What is it? 
It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. I will. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. Lead the way. This way. Hello. Hello. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. There you go. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Hello. Wow. One thing I do know. I'll Why keep you don't fit. you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Yes. Revelio. Oh, field guide page. <gasps> Ravenclaw bust. Guide pages. This bust created in honour of Ravenclaw House resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. Oh. A field... You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Ah. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenge menu to continue. Oh, ooh. Collecting your first guide page unlocks a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Oh. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete, from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect your rewards you have unlocked. I see. Well, clever, isn't it? Mhm. Mm Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. Definitely. Yes, I'll be keeping fit going up and down these stairs all the time. Good grief. Very Look at this. No time to waste. Okay. No classes to attend. Yes, I'm coming. Is there some kind of door there? Something? Am I going this way? What's this? Two question marks. Oh. Oh, okay. So. Sorry, Professor. I, I, I'll keep following you. I can come back. It's not a problem. Wow. Fabulously ah, decorated. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Oh. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. Central Hall. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms and the Great Hall. Select the Grand Staircase region to continue. Okay. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Grey flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the Astronomy Tower, Library and Greenhouses. Select the Library Annex region to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall Flu Flames for you. Use AD to rotate the map and fast travel to the Central Hall Flu Flames with space. Okay. And here we are, quite the time saver. 
Definitely. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Wow. You wow. can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Oh my goodness. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station. So Is to that speak. a book, a page or something? Okay. Um. Wow. Very, very, very pretty. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Hmm. What's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. What exactly is Defence Against the Dark Arts? Can you tell me more about the Defence Against the Dark Arts class? Defence Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defence Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Hmm. Can you tell me more about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Well, thank you. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Um. No, we said to keep it to ourselves, so I'm afraid there isn't. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Ah. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Marvellous. Professor Fig. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Um, you did. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. 
It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. Mm. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Shield represents main quests. Completing main quests will further the story, unlock new features and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Track a quest with the right mouse button and continue field guide charms class defense against the dark arts hmm the map is enchanted to help you find your way this will be incredibly helpful thank you yes now sounds like you've quite a day ahead what with classes and a trip to hogsmeade for supplies including your own wand You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Well, thank you very much. Oh. Ah, yes. Well, I'll head to Charms. Um, thank you very much. I wonder how charming I will become. <laughs>